Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to insert an, a signature into Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, and also to insert your social media icons like Facebook or Instagram in your Outlook email. So I'm using Outlook 2019, but this can be done also with 2016, 2010. So you have two ways to get to your signature, to insert signature. Click on File, Options, click on Mail, and Signature. That's one way. The other way is just to click on New Email, click on Signature. OK. Click on New Now you need to type a name of the signature. You can add multiple names with multiple signatures. In order to get your signature uploaded, you need to sign on a white blank sheet of paper and use your scanner and scan it into your computer. And then you can upload it also. You can just take your cell phone and take a picture of your signature and then email it to yourself and upload it. Click on this image upload icon. This is a sample signature. Click insert. This is it. Now you can adjust this by using the enter key or you can use these adjustments. Now I need I just need to type my information, my name and address. I'm using a sample name and address. Also, you can change the fonts, the font size, the font type, even the color. You can just click here. I can add my web site address just highlight it and this is the hyperlink icon just click on it click ok now in order to insert your social media icons you can go to google and just type social media icons and you'll you'll see a bunch of them you can download so I already have some downloaded. So I'm just going to click on this or click on the icon. I'm going to select the Facebook icon. OK, I'm going to click again and upload Twitter icon. Now you need to hyperlink these. So you want to select like the Facebook icon, click on the hyperlink, and you want to type in your Facebook URL. I'm just going to type facebook.com. Twitter also, you do the same. You click on the icon, click on the hyperlink, and just type the URL of your Twitter account. Now you need to click on save. You need to choose the default signature. So in new messages, you need to select the signature you would like to use, which is this. And Select Save, click OK. When I click on Composing a new email, as you can see, the information is here. So I thank you for watching. If this video has been helpful, I ask you to please subscribe.